come up strong. You are a warrior for Christ. Keep it going. I want to encourage you to keep moving. God loves you, and I'm so glad you're here with me today exercising. And last one. Very nice. And step it in. Go ahead and grab one weight. We're going to go into a sumo squat, which is a bit wider with your toes to the front. So I'm going to place that weight down. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and pivot press, put it down, switch, pivot press. Now it's a lot of picking up, but don't you pick things up off your floor? Use those legs, use your core muscles. She called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are a God who sees, a God of seeing, a God that sees me. All right, pick up that weight again, rotate, put it back down. And you know you don't have to put the weight all the way down on the floor, but I think it's good for us to practice that if you can do it. Last one. This is a straight chop. Simply take the weight, chop it. Cross that body, little pivot turn. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep, yes. Jesus did that very thing. Laid his life down for you and for me so that we could live. So feeling this through your waist, definitely upper body and core. Heart rate should be up a little bit when you strength train. Again, you could use lighter weights. You could use no weights if you wanted to. Use your body for resistance or you could use heavy weights. Just whatever you want to use is fine. One more. Let's go to the opposite side. Make sure our feet are set and a little chop there. To modify, you could take that arm lower. Okay, you don't have to bring it way up, but you could. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. I love that verse. Another glory scripture right there. So doing a nice chop, feeling this, rotating through the hips and the glutes. Keep it strong, keep it strong. Just do your best. Do it for the Lord. Strengthen your body to do what God has called you to do. He's given each one of us different talents and uh, different giftings. Use those gifts. Give them away. Use them for His glory. One more of these. Good job. We're going to go down to the floor for this next set. So, your weights, it really depends on you. I think I'm going to drop down lower because I really want to focus on the legs and the core. You can definitely use heavier. So let's go all the way down. Bring the legs up. So modification first, one leg's gonna be going up and down, okay? With one foot down. Progression, you're gonna be going one at a time. And you're gonna be working your triceps. Bring those arms back and breathe. Another option you do have is tabletop position and you're tapping it. That's fine too. You can also bring the head and shoulders up. For the Lord your God is God of gods and the Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God. Amen. So core and triceps here and legs. Nice. Bring those feet down. We're going to bring the arms out wide. We're going to go up into a nice little fly there. Just simply move those arms up and back down. Now, let's say you want it to incorporate your legs and your core. We can certainly do that with our single leg stretch. Let's bring one leg out at a time. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, the Lord is peace. Have you ever said, Lord, you are my peace? You are my peace, Lord. 
Again, just working with those arms and your legs, breathing, and keeping that spine down. That's also real important. So working the fly in the legs.